In this particular problem, let us say we have an input array with the numbers like this 10 minus 10, 20 minus 20, 30 minus 30, 40 minus 40, or 50. The order of these numbers, positive and negative, can just be any order. I've just shown some sample. What this program is expected to do is it is expected to take these input numbers and see that all the positive numbers come at one end and all the negative numbers come at one end. So it can be positive at the beginning and negative at the end or it can be negative at the beginning and positive at the end. That really does not matter. So in order to solve this particular problem, I have used a very simple logic. What I have done is I have taken another array called as B. So what I do is when I get 10, which is a positive number, I put it at the beginning. When I get minus 10, I start putting it from the end. Next time when I get positive number, again I put it at the beginning. When I get a negative number, again I put it at the end. So what I am doing is I am starting it in this manner. The positive numbers are growing this side. The negative numbers are growing this side. So this way what will happen is you are able to put positive numbers from left to right and negative numbers from right to left in the array B. So let me try to explain what this particular problem and how it really works. I have defined the array size as 50. So array size A of max, I have given it some initial values, some sample numbers, okay. Although its size is 50, I have utilized maybe just about 8 or 10 of those places. Then I have created another array B with the name maximum capacity max. This fellow right now is not given any variables or any values. So what I am doing is this B is used to store the output of this particular processing. Now what I am doing is I will explain the logic of the positive negative part by actually coding and running it. I am just going to show you the print part. Since the array B contains the output that it contains this output that is the output of positive numbers on one side and negative numbers on one side. I am just doing this print partition. I am passing the name of the array B and the maximum number of elements in B which happens to be also 9. So the number of elements in B and A is going to be same if we have done it correctly. So in the print partition what I am doing is for 0 to less than n I am simply printing all the numbers existing in the array B which contains the result of this particular program. Now what I am going to do here is now let us try to write the code for how do we go about partitioning this particular array numbers. So what I will do is I will first paste the prototype. Once I paste the prototype, I definitely know what are my parameters. So once I know my parameters, it is quite easy. So I am going to define a variable int called int s which is 0 which will keep track of positive numbers. Okay, this one is going to keep track of positive end. I'll rather than positive numbers, positive end. And I'll say int e, this fellow is going to keep track of the negative end. So let me copy this fellow and let me be a little lazy here. Track of negative end. Okay. So what I'm going to do is positive end is going to start from zero. Negative end cannot also be zero it is going to be n minus 1. Why is it going to be n minus 1? Because n gives you the end point of the array. But since in C we are starting array from 0, that's why end has to be n minus 1. So now we have done most of the work. S is going to keep adding numbers from the beginning. E is going to keep numbers adding numbers from the end and bring it towards the center. One is moving from left to right, other is moving from right to left or right to center. Then let's take a look at the logic. I can simply use the for loop to do this. For I can say i is equal to 0. As long as the value of i is less than n, I am going to do i plus plus. So here what I am going to do is I am going to check for the value of the array element. If a of i, okay, if a of i is greater than 0, okay, then what I am trying to do here is I am going to say b of start okay from b of start is equal to a of 
I. Now, after I do this, it is essential that I increase the value of start so that next time I am able to store the next positive element after the zeroth position. So this is what I do here. Now it is also possible that a of i can be less than zero. I am making an assumption here that the user is only entering positive and negative numbers. I am not accounting for zero. Okay, if you want, you can make that modification. If a zero comes, you can just ignore it. It's not going to hurt you. So if a zero comes, you can just say, I'm not going to process it. So a of i, okay, if it is less than zero, then what I'm going to do is I am going to, from the negative end, okay, from the negative end, I am going to take the value of a of i and store it. But see the difference here. From the positive side, I'm increasing the value. From the negative side, since I've started from n minus one, I need to decrease the value of the negative side. So all the numbers from right to left are stored properly. So this should take care of the for loop. Now, what we shall do is, in order to see that this particular program really compiles and works, let us do our usual part of taking it and pasting it into the online GDB C compiler. There we'll really know whether our logic turns out to be fine or not. So I'm pasting it into the online GDB C compiler. Let's see first if it really compiles. Okay, so far we seem to be lucky. It's compiled. So here if you see in the output screen, all right, if you see in the output screen, all the positive numbers have come at the beginning. And here if you see all the negative numbers, that is the four negative numbers have come at the end. In order to ensure that this particular fellow works for every case, let's put one more number here. Let's put minus nine. And then I need to increase the size of this to 10 because now I don't have nine numbers, I have 10 numbers. All right, let us compile this and see if this now works perfectly. Okay, so now it's again doing it as expected. So if you see the positive numbers have started from left to right, the negative numbers have started from right to left. So this is really a simple program, but quite useful in terms of doing different things because this kind of logic is used when you go to the industry to do different things, not necessarily this particular problem. But the whole idea is just trying to show you what all you can do with arrays. It's impossible to teach you every possible problem using arrays, but to broadly give you an idea about what all you can do with arrays. So here if you see in this negative positive negative partition, yes represents the left or the starting point. E represents the end point minus one because we are starting from zero. So this way what I am doing is if the number is positive, I am copying it on the left side. If the number is negative, I am copying it from the right side and the right side value is being reduced by one so that we keep moving towards the center. Left side value is being increased so that we keep moving from left to the center repeatedly. So I hope you are able to get a good idea of this particular program and I want you to take a look at this in the description section.